Hello my nerd musician friend and welcome back! In the last video I showed you briefly how I created my track Torino PCB using KiCad until the point that uh, I export the Gerber files which are the files that are used by uh, the company that will manufacture your PCBs. So now that you already have your Gerber files we're gonna go to the JLC PCB website. Uh, they have like some pretty good quality uh, PCBs and it's like it's pretty cheap and fast. So uh, I'm going to show you how you can use the JL, JLC PCB to do your own PCBs, okay? So you come here to their website, where um, which I'm uh, leaving the link below in the description. And here you have some really nice thing, which is the instant quote that you can just put the dimensions of your uh, PCB and you have an instant qu quote of like how much it's going to cost. So you can choose here how many layers is your PCB. So my is just two layers. So get quote now. Um, here, first thing, okay, two layers and you put the size of your PCB. So my PCB is uh, 100 millimeters by 217. Then you choose how many PCBs you're going to do. So for example, if you want five, you already have like a quote here. So like total is 26.62 and unit price is 532. If you do 10, your unit price drops to 352. And if you do, I don't know, a uh, hundred drops to 120. So the more you do, the cheaper it gets. So, and I want 10. Uh, so it's $3.52 per unit by a 100 by 217 millimeters uh, PCB, which is like amazingly cheap, okay? Uh, then you choose your PCB thickness. I just left here in the standard, 1.6. Then you can choose the color of your PCB. So this time I want to be black. So it was my uh, first idea was like making it black. Maybe I'll try later doing uh, it white with black, uh, with black silk screens, but I wanna go with black right now. Surface finish. Uh, let's leave it here. Both fingers, no. Material, no, no, no. I don't want to change any of this. So basically, uh, let's just choose like the how many layers, the size, the amount, and the color. And you're ready. Can have uh, a pretty uh, the the final quote of how uh, much will be your PCBs. So for me, it's like 35, uh, 23, and 3.52 per board. So uh, save to cart. So now it's when we need to upload the Gerber files. So just like zip your files and upload. So already zipped here with all the Gerber and uh, Drew files. So it actually takes uh, some time. Okay, your upload has finished processing. So something that's really nice is this Gerber viewer. This is really awesome because you can actually visualize how your PCB is looking. So this is like really looks like a picture of my uh, actual PCB. But you see now that now it has the rounded corners and you have like spacers here, which is pretty nice. And you have like, this is the top, you can see the bottom. You can see that I have some, <laughs> some notes here, Begustav Silveira, my email. Uh, this is the revision uh, number two, so this is the, the second version of the of the PCB, and you can change the color. 
So let's wait this to load. Bim. So for example, if we want, like I don't know, red PCB, we can make it red. <laughs> you notice that like the background is changing too. Red is actually pretty nice. And but I would go with black. So let's see how black looks like. She looks like pretty good to me. So okay, I already uh, have everything here. So everything is looking fine. You can make some notes. So save to cart. So again, here you can uh, see your uh, files. You have the final pri the price. Then you need to choose your shipping. So check out securely. Okay, now you put your uh, address and you have like delivery and payment. So you have like DHL and re registered air mail. So uh, DHL obviously is more expensive, but it's much faster. So you choose one of those. So actually I already uh, ordered my PCB, so I'm not going to, to do this now. And you can pay through PayPal. So you click here and you pay and you wait and you get your PCBs. So now I want to stop this video and I will be back when the PCBs get here. Okay, so see you. And we are back. So I ordered the PCBs on September 10th and today is September 19th. So it was nine days for a uh, manufacturing the PCBs and to deliver here at home from China to the US. So uh, it comes in this package, JLC PCB, and it came inside this, this package here that I couldn't wait and I opened. <laughs> so here are my PCBs and they look pretty awesome. So here's the tractor, you know, PCB. Uh, it's, it has the round corners, as I told you in the, in the last video, I have different uh, footprints for my uh, slide potentiometers. And here, I don't know if you can say it, if you can see it, there's some, there's my name, my website, and some cool stuff that I wanted to do, uh, because, just because it's cool. And here I have, a PCB that's uh, I already sorted uh, some components, some potentiometers here, the multiplexers, and what I want to do now is trying to assemble this inside uh, the enclosure that I'm doing. So I'll do this really fast so you can see how it looks inside the enclosure. with my GLC PCB inside. And now I wanna know what to think about the Tractorino, about uh, what do you think about the, the PCB, uh, what suggestions would you make? And so please leave in the comments below your opinion and uh, suggestions or even questions about how to make or how to uh, design, manufacture a PCB. The Tractorino is uh, a project that intends to be a MIDI controller for controlling the tractor, among other DJ softwares, as a Arduino Uno shield. And uh, it will be open source, so uh, anybody can be it too, okay? So please subscribe if you didn't do it yet, and give us a like, share with the friends, and see you next video.